Well, you've all heard by now that the Beatles finally made their catalog available on iTunes. You can buy the Beatles box set for 149 bucks, which includes all 13 albums, music videos, and documentaries. So if you want another copy of all the Beatles songs you already own, this is great news, yeah. right? But some artists like ACDC, Garth Brooks, and Kid Rock still refuse to offer their music on iTunes. Kid Rock said, I have trouble with the way iTunes says everybody's music's worth the same price. I don't think that's right. There's music out there that's not worth a penny. Do you agree with Kid Rock, Andrew? Well, you know, I feel like he has a point. He can decide how much his is worth to himself, and maybe he can pay that little extra for every fan that would want to buy it at 99 cents. I have songs that are worth a million dollars. Right. Yes. You know, on iTunes, I, I should Priceless. correct it, $999,000.99. <laughs> That's true. Um, uh, but either way, you want to, you know, I, I think that the even playing field is a very nice approach for a very hard to figure out question. I mean, how do you decide the price of a song? 99 cents across the board works for me. Let Kid Rock choose the price, and if he doesn't sell, if he doesn't sell <laughs> uh, songs, then F him. Like, I don't care. That's you a know? good point. Well, albums have always been about the same price. You know, cassettes were always about 10 bucks, That's CDs true. were always about 15 bucks. Yeah, and man. now, you know, you can buy the whole album for 12 bucks or each individual song. It's true. I never heard of artists in the old days putting out an album and charging more because they thought their music was worth more. It doesn't really make sense. It, it, a democracy with entertainment seems to work pretty, good, pretty yeah. well. Kid Rock's pissed sucks. that no one's going to buy his B-sides like Guns, Chicks, and Douchebags or whatever, <laughs> right. his, whatever his next track is called. Uh -oh. I, no, I mean, hey, people like his music is all I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> Metallica bashed iTunes for years saying they didn't want to contribute to the demise of the album format. They eventually caved in, so how long until everybody else caves in, Andrew? It's not caving in. You're embracing a new horizon. You're embracing change that the rest of the world is embracing. And when your audience, who your success is based on, wants you to take that step with them, I think it's a nice, respectful gesture to go that next step. It doesn't mean they're going to like it. Sometimes change is painful. But hey, I mean, we're in a brave new world now. Yeah, also, this would be like the fifth time that Metallica caved in their career. <laughs> I know. Like, haircuts, playing with the London Symphony, making a documentary about going on therapy. Like, Having a psychologist, <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. That's like five caves in a row. Just, I think <laughs> iTunes is not a big deal anymore, guys. Totally. Right. Been... All of these iTunes holdouts were hugely successful before iTunes came along. Can today's indie bands afford to avoid iTunes? I don't think so. I mean, you're not big enough to go without iTunes until Weird Al has covered you. That's my theory. Mm. If Weird Al totally covers your song, agree. you're allowed to just do whatever that that's hell the you want. Point. Yeah, that's yeah. your stadium at that that's level. That's the one yeah. thing that Blink never got. Weird Al never covered one of our songs. Oh. Come on, Weird Al! I should have done oh, a little more research before I said it. that. Yeah. Thank you, you guys were already already parodying yourselves in the best way. I mean, oh, true. Yeah. Yeah. Some bands that have that awareness, they don't need someone to say, by the way, this is how you really appear. I mean, you guys really went there, and that's a, a nod of respect. If Weird Al can't, cover you or can't parody you, that's another sign of success. That's true. So take that. Oh, I appreciate good. that. That's that's what I go with. That's you're Weird Al proof. Put yeah. it on your next album. Weird Al proof. <laughs> Andrew WK says we're Weird Al proof. Wow. Like that's a big smiling WK face. That should be the title of an album.